on these two who have come here this afternoon at this most significant point in their lives, 25 years from the day that they pledge their love and commitment each to the other. May their words mean as much to them today as they did 25 years ago. Grant to all of us who have come to show our love and support and to show a full measure of your joy as we share in their celebration. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Dearly beloved, we have gathered here today, as we have stated, to share in the witness of this union between Mark and Lisa Randolph. Marriage, as we know, was instituted by God himself, and the first marriage was performed by Jesus. So significant is marriage that the Son of God chose to begin his earthly ministry by joining in a wedding celebration with friends. So it becomes us all to realize the sanctity of this ceremony. And although it is not the first time, it is the best time. <laughs> what each of us is saying by our presence here today is most significant. It is a part of our original relationship to God. Each of us, whether married for many years or only a few, can discover that, that blessing and happiness in marriage, if it is in our heads, to beautify the marriage relationship with tenderness, thoughtfulness, patience, kindness, and carefulness in the many ways in which we can express self-sacrifice to the other. Mark, do you take Lisa to be your wife? <laughs> to again. live to, again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> to live together in the holy bond of married love, do you promise to honor and to uphold her, to continue to join with her in making a home that will endure in love and in peace? Do you affirm your purpose of a deeper union with her? whereby you both will know the joy and the fulfillment of love. Do you pledge your complete faithfulness through all the changing experiences of life and of your own free will? Do you now give yourself to her completely, body, mind, and soul? From this day forward, will you be hers alone as long as you both shall live? If so, please respond by saying, I do. I do. <laughs> Lisa. Do you take Mark to be your husband again? <laughs> to live together in the holy bond of our love Do you promise to honor and uphold him and to continue to join with him in making a home that will endure in love and peace? Do you affirm your purpose of a deeper union with him? whereby you both will know the joy and the fulfillment of love. Do you pledge to him your complete faithfulness to all the changing experiences of life and of your own free will? Do you now give yourself to him completely, body, mind, and soul? From this day forward, you will be his alone as long as you both shall live. If so, please respond, I do. <laughs> We're going to ask the congregation to stand at this time. Friends and loved ones of Mark and Lisa, do you at this time commit yourselves to the loving support, nurture, and encouragement of this couple? Do you promise to hold them accountable to the vows that they will make before God, to remind them of their sacred commitment to one another, and assist them as, as far as possible in maintaining a pure and growing relationship, to model before them and thereby encourage them in a healthy and wholesome marriage relationship, to stand beside them as they fulfill these vows throughout their lifetime together or until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ? If so, Please respond, I do. I do. You may be seated.
bride and groom had exchanged rings, rings that were exchanged over 25 years ago. We can say that they have been blessed, and the rings have been blessed, the marriage has been blessed for 25 years, and as testament to that blessing, we have two young men who have been gifts to the world. Yes. If they are here at this time, would you please stand? <laughs> <laughs> One is in uh, Tennessee already, but the fruit of their labor and love uh, is indeed evident through these young men. Now, by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, as testimony to and witness to these two in, in love by Mr. and Mrs. Harvey and Jean Scott, I do now pronounce you again, <laughs> husband and wife, what God hath joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Amen. Amen.